How's it going, everybody? Cameron with Race Pack, and I'm joined today with uh, Joe from Hyperactive Performance Solutions. If you're not familiar with Joe, Joe is a very sought-after EFI tuner in the world of Pro Mod or pretty much anything EFI, X275, radial, small tire, big tire, that type of thing. Um, and what I wanted to bring Joe in today to talk a little bit about is the difference between EFI data logging versus Race Pack data logging. There's a lot of people out there saying that. Uh, they don't need a race pack anymore. I have EFI on my data log, or I have a data logger on my EFI, which is true, and that's great. Um, but we also, there's a lot of other things that you can do with a race pack that, you know, we want to elaborate on and uh, see if we can't work them together. We're not saying that EFI is bad by any means. We love EFI, and I mean, heck, Joe makes his living with EFI. So I thought that's why I'd bring him in and, and talk a little bit about it and see what you think. Absolutely. What do you say, Joe? Um... Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, basically, uh, hyperactive performance solutions. We do, you know, EFI sales support, tuning, uh, consulting at the racetrack, um, dyno facility, also a, a large race pack distributor, and um, kind of have used it, you know, for years and years together, and and having each of them complement each other um, as the EFIs over the course of the last five or six years have undeniably gotten more advanced. Oh yeah, I mean, that's, it's crazy these days what those things can do. Absolutely, and, it, and it's fun and it's enjoyable, but they're still, you know, they're designed to be EFI systems and then kind of data logging secondary. And, and we use the data logging in them for tuning of the engine, making decisions, things like that. But there's a lot of other things that need to tune on the car, like suspension, et cetera. And there is, and, it, and, and the concept of power management that we use in drag racing, right. taking something that makes 5,000 horsepower on a 10-inch wide, you know, 315 radial tire, and somehow or another trying to make the thing go in the threes is um, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. But right well, tell us a little bit about, like, what you think, you know, like, let's, let's, let's talk about this. Okay, so EFI... EFI is an engine management system that has a data logger built into it that can, can that can record all of the channels that they're obviously, you know, your injectors, your mm -hmm. oil, fuel, you know, all that stuff. Um, and then we have a data logger that uh, we've used, obviously, for year, many years. Um, we don't control the engine. Correct. We basically gather information, whether that be engine vitals, uh, suspension travel, flows, you know, whatever it may be. So let's let's talk a little bit about like what what does a race pack data logger have that maybe the EFI system has, but we can elaborate a little bit more on. Like for instance, let's talk math channels. Okay. So essentially, a math channel is the ability to take a raw piece of data, um, say drive shaft RPM, for example, and make a calculation on that and create another piece of information to analyze. Um, so as an example, we have done uh, a derivative of, of drive shaft data, so that kind of gives us a magnifying glass on the drive shaft, so we can compare things and do things. Um, okay, well, well, show us here, let's... So as an example, this run here was like an 800 inch pro stock run and our engine, our drive shaft, and then we have drive shaft RPM per second. So you can see, even though it looks smooth through here, we had a sudden drop of engine or of drive shaft RPM, and then a sudden acceleration. So you can use that as like if the thing knocked the tire off, spun the tire. Right. You can say, oh well, it was you know it was already headed that direction. Um, and, and you can do that with multiple things, and and these are channels that can be created within the race pack software. So. Um, you know, yeah, there's there's EFI systems that can do add, subtract, multiply, yeah, divide, absolutely. you know, which is cool, but the race pack kind of takes that one step further with our standard software upgrade. You can actually create a lot of channels like he's talking about, like these derivative channels. Like it's not there's there's other elements that you can that you can do. So um, you know, I guess so, explain a little let's So like another channel that we would do, you know, this is we could do the clock. So when you zero the run through the race pack, and then enter the time slip information as you're downloading the run, or you can mm -hmm. do it later. It would then put a vertical line between 
like there's the 60 foot clock. So we've entered the time. So it puts a vertical line there. Uh, right. The 330 clock, the eighth mile clock. Which is beneficial for even, say, a bracket guy like myself. Like, you know, if I'm bracket wheel racing or whatever, and I usually don't want to start ripping in the throttle until after a thousand foot, I can use this, this marker to show, like, oh, well, shoot, maybe this isn't a good comparison run for me trying to figure out what I ran because it, I started ripping it before a thousand or whatever the case in that situation was. Absolutely. And, you know, you can, like, this is a naturally aspirated run, but you could use this as well. And, as you're doing boost curves to be able to, be, to to know in relation between the 60 and the 330 where your boost curve is to you know come in quicker you know I'll do derivative on boost so I can realize how my ramps are um, things of that nature so it can get very elaborate you know as an example a, a very elaborate example this particular car if my memory serves me well we have we have tire temp so we can actually use that as a channel along with a, this had a laser right height on the rear end housing. So there's like, for example, there's another couple of sensors that the EFI system probably isn't going to have, a laser right height and a tire temperature. Um, and, and you could you put can, them in there. It's but not it, something that's it, standard it, or... It's not. Right. And, and as things progress, you know, doing more within the ECU as a functionality standpoint is there. But being able to take and analyze that data on a different level with math, with with things, is why you you know the value of interfacing your EFI system into a race pack data logger allows you to just simply to do more. Um, another example on this particular run is we have shock sensors, um, and you can see. But the common thing is, I'm sure you've gotten tech phone calls over the years oh, of yeah. you know wanting to zero the shock sensor um, so you know how much it moved typically you know we've had people change the scaling on the sensor well that ultimately affects if it really moved a half an inch or things like that so right. I never advise to change the scaling on the sensor but what we've done is we've kind of embedded some code within the log page and we can do essentially the right rear shock zero so you can take and know that the shock moved just under half an inch from zero. So from your starting point. Instead of guessing, oh, I instead started of it guessing, three inches worth of sag or whatever. Or having, your, you know, or having your cell phone in your hand and having to use your calculator right. and stuff like that. So it's just the depth of, of where you want to head with it. And, right. and, and with, with doing it with all this math and everything, it, again, we always talk about taking the guessing out of everything. Well, this is something that allows you to... Once it's set up, I mean, you this is ever run, and you know we we always talk about how expensive it is to run these cars. Whether I don't care if it's a stock eliminator or a yeah, those are pretty you know <laughs> crazy yeah exactly those are pretty expensive uh, a days. crazy expensive NHRA pro mod. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it costs a lot of money to go down the track. So why wouldn't you want to learn as much as you possibly can with both EFI and a data logger at the same time? So that way, your next run could potentially be faster and better and leading up to more wind lights. Absolutely. Another channel, you know, and the other side of it is, again, you can take your EFI data, bringing it into the race pack, and then use that for math. Right. So our example for that is, um, you know, this is a, a blower EFI car, and we can take our injector data that comes from the EFI into it, do a math channel to determine fuel flow, which in EFI speak has always been pounds per hour, right. but the ability to communicate with, a blown alcohol guy is it's all gallons per minute right. so then we can essentially do a gallon per minute channel and and carry that stuff over if we were to put flow meters on the car we can then compare what the computer you know says it is versus what it actually is with with turbines and you just now all of a sudden the more information from the sources you can gather the better decisions you can make right you know and, and that and that's what we're trying to get across here about how, how great EFI is versus uh, running a race pack as well. And, um, you know, we appreciate Joe coming out and, you know, talking a little bit about this. And, you know, we'll, we'll have more segments to talk a little bit more in depth on other aspects of, you know, why it's great. We recommend running both race pack and EFI, um, you know, if you're running EFI in your vehicle. So be sure to hang around and uh, check out our other episodes and, and go from there. And, just remember, stop guessing, start winning, and we hope to see you at the track. And Joe, thanks again for coming out. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Take care.